Hi, and welcome to Click Fix. In this video, I'm going to explain an important configuration detail when reloading apps on ClickView Server that contain section access. I have a simple example document to demonstrate this behavior. In the script, we load three tables. The section access table, this is who the users are, their access rights, and a reduction field, or how the data set should be reduced for that user. And the section application tables, this is the data to be shown and how the reduction field applies to it. I'll quickly demonstrate. From the QV desktop, opening the document as user 1, I get to see the data from Europe. As user 2, I get to see the data for the US. Logging in as admin will show all values. I'm closing the QV desktop each time to clear out the cache to be able to log in as a different user. There are a lot of ways to set up section access by using Windows ID, by machine ID, but this example uses username and password, and the password in this case is blank, but it's just to keep things simple for this demonstration. You have all the data in the document, but you only get access to a portion of it depending on who you are. That's the concept. Now, anytime you want to reload a document that contains section access script on QV server, you have to give the server a way to open that document. On the Reload tab of the Task Settings, Section Access needs to be checked, and some credentials for the server to use should be provided. Now I'm giving you what most might assume to be correct credentials, those of admin, but these are actually incorrect. I'll make this task distribute to the server, all authenticated users in the User Document folder, a simple trigger, and go ahead and launch it manually. Now once this task is reloaded and distributed to the server, I'm going to go to the access point and open it again using user 1, and you can see the problem. Even though it seems like the server should use admin, the reduction made in the distribution of the task has actually provided everyone the same data set that this user, I'm using air quotes, admin, should get. Let's take a look at the script to further clarify what's happened. Looking at the section access table again, we first use admin, which has the reduction field value of all values. This means, as you can see in the section application table, that admin should get to see everything. Notice the star is asterisk definition in the script, just to be sure. We should be using a user credential that exists in the section access table, but with no reduction field value. In my example, to make things very clear, I use this user credential pub admin, as in publisher admin, with reduction field value, no reduction. This reduction does just that because the value doesn't exist in the section application table. In short, when the server gets the reduction part of the task, the server won't actually make a reduction. So the data returned won't be reduced according to the reduction values associated with another user. They won't be reduced at all. No changes are made to the data set of the document. This essentially lets you skip the reduction portion of the distribution. So I'll just quickly demonstrate it working like I want it to. I change the settings of the task to use pub admin, run this task again. This does the distribution again, but this time skipping the reduction. And the data shown to the user actually works as it was intended. I hope this helped. If you'd like more information, please search on the support portal. Thanks for watching. Nailed it.